What's up traders? Welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well. Trading has been a bit weird this week. You know, it's been up and down. I've been missing out some trades. I've hit a few good SLs. I'd say about four or five SLs. I'm not even gonna lie. You're just like me. Trash! But it's the risk to reward that helps me get through tough times. And sometimes I hit the wrong direction, get in too early, and then other times you get in at the right time. But because I'm using 10 pip SLs, it's difficult. But the 10-pip sales can make you right now, if we didn't get tapped out, it would be like plus 15, 20% on just one trade. You know, you're taking a 0.5% risk and you're making 10%, you are laughing. And that's just facts. And when you're funded, when you get a funding account, obviously the Forex fund, the link is down below in the description. They are grading their site. It's going to be insane stuff. Insane stuff. New portal, new engine, new rules as well. Check out. Damn! When you do have a funded account, you don't want to risk 1% all the time, you know, and plus you don't even want to over trade. Now, if you're in profit or you're not in profit, you're in some drawdown and you risk 0.5%, get the trade off and you make 10%, 20 to 1, you're making 10%. That's nuts. That's actually nuts. That is, you are big chill. Anyway, this video, as I said, I didn't make much content on the trades I've made this week on free trades. The link is in the description as well. The sales we caught today, I made a quick 5%. It's nothing special, as I said, I hit a few SLs during the midweek anyway. It's still profit. We made profit Monday also, so all in all, it's been a good week. Just we've had a few bad days, and that is expected with trading. You can't, especially when you're trading most days, like I, I kind of trade most days because I like to view the charts. I like to always see what's going on, and I like to take opportunity when there is opportunity to be taken. Now... That's just the way I trade. Obviously, if I'm going away to like Dubai, I would trade a few times here and there. But in the end of the day, we're all addicted to trading, so why not trade? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna show you a chart analysis, what gold's kind of doing. Kind of bit of a mad one. I didn't think gold would go past 16, 16. I didn't think it would go to 1620, that is for sure. Now I, I, I thought we was going to see a 1678 retest. I really did. I didn't think we would sell straight away. I really thought we would see a 1678 retest. Maybe we still even will. Who knows? But anyway, let me jump on the charts and let's get into this analysis. Yo, what's good? We're on the charts, baby. This is where I shine. I'm not even going to lie. This is where I actually do take over. Now, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. The sales that we took... Easy retest, 1627 entry. I'm just gonna fly through the cells quick and then just give you a, a brief breakdown on analysis and where gold's going to, show you some price action, show you the market direction, and tell you what the how how you read charts basically. Like I want everyone to be able to read charts the way I read charts because if we can get a thousand people reading the chart, how I read charts, and we're all in a group together, how are we never gonna like we could make infinity money? For the rest of life like even though i'm a trader there's a lot of people that watch me right now that can trade there's a lot of people watching who can't trade if you can all trade like me and better than me then we can all make money together now number one sells up here we missed 1642 sell limit tapped out wick then sells annoying as if but quick one each look at the times previous lows Previous highs up here, 1627. Now, quick entry in the cells, and then we had a quick closure for 5%, which was here. 5% trade. Nothing too special. It was a quick 5%, easy retest. Previous highs from 5 a.m., previous lows at 7 a.m. London open. London open, wick down, wicked up to collect orders from previous high to load that soul. Now, all this is, is a retest, and that's why it's an easy, it's an easy sell. And plus also, if the market is very, very manipulative in terms of bullish momentum, then you're always gonna see a likely pullback this area like this here, which is why I actually closed. I actually closed the trade because I, just, I didn't wanna hold to 16.16, which it come it comes sixty nine fifty, so you could have made some extra profit, but I didn't want to. Now you're likely to see this spike up and retest pre previous wick high 
1640 area. So we're going to see tr the trade breakout of 1670, 1628. Sorry, let me just get rid of this retest. We'll see it break out up here and create new highs. Now, the reason for this is because the trade just needs to retest. That's that's all. I know that I know they're terrible candles, but the trade just needs to retest. As I said to you, I thought 1678 retest. We've seen three highs push below, push up, but we never see it come back to 1678, which is the overall market direction. I really thought we would see it push up. We might even see it now, to be fair, but the arguably next sells, you would think either that's a break up, pull back, and then a retest to the previous wick body. Then you're in for further sells, and the next retest would be 1640 because that's the previous wick high lows. And that's where the price would come up and collect orders before selling again because it's broken below 1620. Previous lows, 1622, come up, retest, broke below again. So now break up and retest. So 1640 be the retest. Looking on the 15 minutes and speaking to you all, look at that, how is 15 minutes ending? So right now, if you think my analysis is true, you would jump in a buy here. Because right now it will go up. You have SL there, 16, 1622. And you have take profit, 16. 40 like this and that'll be a quick six to one obviously 24 entry let's say you get 24 entry take profit 1640 sl 1623 it's 10 pip sl but you're going to move that 10 pip sl to, to just a few extra pips and that's a 16 to one that's a 16 to one so if you think gold's going to go up right now that's a 16 to one because that's going to be a retest through you know, obviously New York, then Sydney, then Tokyo. So we've broken, broke, broken. Now we're going to go out for the retest. 1640 collection, then New York sells. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe. I need to end this trade right now. Thank you for the support. Much love. Take it easy and peace.